Hello and welcome to Melver Idol episode 39. Today we'll look at summoning. It's been a while since I haven't made a video on that game. I'll tell you why in a moment. If you unsubbed because I haven't made a video in a long time, maybe you thought the series was over, I invite you to sub back because if I ever end a series, I'll clearly let you know. I just took a break. I needed a break after something happened and I will tell you what happened. I went into the mist. In fact, I even considered making an episode called Lost into the Mist, but um, it didn't happen. What happened is I reached uh, phase one, so I beat all the mobs. I went Millie, but that's all I got anyways, right? Reached the phase one boss, brought him down to 10% and it took a long time. It was a long fight, a long fight. I had to eat at the right time, all these things. Then I died. And uh, I was discouraged because there's three phases. Then I look it up and phase one is melee, phase two is range, phase three is magic. Well, it's not called phase three. I forgot the name of the last phase, but the actual boss is magic. And um, let's take a look at something. I'm just going to stop recording here. You should see it already. Comeback triangle changes. So when they implemented summoning, they uh, made some changes and they increased the effect of the combat triangle. I knew it, this existed, but I wanted only one loadout, melee, that's it. I used range to reach 99 and magic, I wanted to use all magic to reach 99. I never used magic, just to simplify my experience in the game. But now they increase the effect of it and it looks and I might have to create three decent loadouts, especially in hardcore. If you look at the numbers here, hardcore 25% damage instead of 20. But if you compare normal and hardcore, it's 15% versus 25%. So um, I made peace with the idea of making three loadouts. We're going to look at my current loadout right now and there's a lot of work to do. But there is a little bit of hope in summoning. I might be able to cheese my way through with melee still. So I'm gonna, still going to try something. If it doesn't work, that's only on softcore. Hardcore, I have no choice uh, to uh, respect the combat triangle. All right, let's go back. We're back. By the way, the reason why I said we're back is a cue so I can sync the audio with the video. Okay, let's take a look at the loadouts. So my uh, melee is fine. Okay, well it's not properly equipped right now, but you know all about it if you watch the previous episode, we're doing fine. And the fact that I'm able to go through the entire Into the Mist dungeon and reach phase one and almost kill it is a very good sign. But range needs a lot of work. Look at that, I'm still using this. I would have to spend a lot of time trying to improve my range. And I cannot even Click this because I don't have a place for a third loadout. I need 300,000 Slayer points to create a magic loadout. But I don't understand how magic works. Can you imagine? This is episode 39 and I still don't understand how magic works. It's because I wanted things to be more simple. I just wanted to reach 99 in magic through alt magic. Play melee, keep it simple, but unfortunately I'm going to have to learn about magic, I think. I'm almost certain of it. Because if you look at that triangle, the final boss of all is magic. And magic is efficient against melee. I'm going to get destroyed, I'm pretty sure. Unless we're going to take a look at summoning, there might be a little bit of hope. The only changes that might have occurred is maybe Slayer went up. Because as I was doing summoning, of course, I played the game a little bit. But I stopped playing completely, so I, I don't think I made any progress anywhere for all I know. Maybe a little bit of magic too, but not that much. It's hard to say I didn't watch the previous episode. Let's jump right into summoning. Now, I'm going to talk about summoning, but I have a question. I made a... How can I describe the word? I'm looking for the English word here. I made a... Assumption? Yeah, I presume something and you let me know if I'm right, okay? It's the only one thing I more or less understand. So the way it works 
So I'm, I've made some quite some progress. Let's say I'm doing. I want this one, okay? So I'm gonna do some crafting. I do crafting and closing. And by the way, this is for players who are not familiar with summoning. And if you already are, I'm trying to show you the understanding I gain, and you can validate this in comments. Say, yeah, you're right. You got it right, or you're wrong about X, Y, Z, okay? But um, it took me a little bit of time to understand summoning, so more complicated than the other mechanics, I guess, but it's not that bad. So you do crafting, let it go, and then eventually you get one mark. But you can only get one mark until you create the familiar attached to that mark. So you go in familiar and you create a familiar. It would unlock, say, this one, right? And then I would make this one. Once you started making familiars, if you go back uh, to crafting, then you can get additional marks. Now here's the question I have for you. Am I right when I say this? Because I was wondering what's the difference between mark level 1 and mark level 4? I don't get it. Then I thought about synergies. The higher the mark you have, the more access to synergy you have. Am I right when I say that? Please let me know in the comment because I could not find the information. The wiki is good, but maybe I missed it, I don't know. So I think that's what it is. Higher the mark, the more synergies you have access to. That's the only reason why I would see leveling up marks. Because once you have one mark level one, you can already create the familiar that you want, you know? When it comes to familiar creation, there's all sorts of familiars. We're going to look at them, the ones that are giving me a little bit of hope of cheesing this game. Um, they give you many choices of which mats to use, but what's problematic is those summoning shards. I used to be honestly kind of rich. I buy them 10,000 a pop. It's millions and millions of gold. And you burn them very quickly when you create familiars. Um, so... Uh, it will take a while, I need to make money and stuff like that. Which one are attractive? Well, let's look at this one. Plus 10% evasion rating, minus 10% enemy evasion rating. They only increase the power of the... What's it called again? Combat triangle by 5%. So this seems to counterbalance the buff that they gave to the combat triangle. Another example. 5% melee strength bonus, 5% melee accuracy bonus. So if I were to, I don't know if there's a synergy between these two, I'll level up the marks as much as possible, hoping that there is a synergy between these two. That could be an interesting combination, and I will try into the mist again with melee. This is the last time though, if I fail, because it's really long and honestly it was kind of boring, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, if I die again, I'm gonna have to once again create proper a proper um, triple loadout if you want to equip a synergy you just click here you need to have of course both type of familiars here i already did that i attempted i attempted to make a video just before that. this is take two by the way so that's why uh it's already equipped like this okay so that's my understanding of it is there anything else to say i don't think so it's going to take a while before I reach 99. Uh, completion log. Uh, pets. They added two pets related to summoning monsters. These drop a lot of eyes. Maybe these two. These two are new mobs. This one drops a lot of eyes. For maybe this one. I use this mob to get a lot of eyes for. I'm mastery level 43 on this one. Items, I say that every episode, what am I gonna say, can you predict it? There are easy question marks I can fill in, I just need to put in the time, but it's getting tougher and tougher. And as I'm getting more marks, the percentage will increase, but it's still a very long wait. Skills, it's doing really well because we're close to 99 everywhere besides summoning. I'm gonna work on it and soon enough, I don't know when, I'll have 99 everywhere and this will be 100%. Master is a different story. 
it's easy to find an example if I go here look at that so far 70 80 90 70 80 90 so there's so much more to do that's why I'm so low at 67 percent so 84 percent of the game done it's a long way my goal is to get 100 percent will I ever reach it I don't have a clue or close enough to 100 percent there's so many cryptic items too that I gonna have a hard time getting next episode will be about hardcore mode I'll give you an update on that too usually they're shorter and next softcore episode might be very strong chance about Goblin Raid I've been talking about this a few times and I believe it's time and that's gonna be another episode once I reach 99 summoning probably and once I reach 99 everywhere I'll try to make it meaningful I don't want to give you empty episodes so I think that would be it oh by the way the music um, I'm now using the YouTube library for the music let me know if you're satisfied with this music but uh, I don't know how many songs it's gonna take me let's say it takes me three songs if I take 10 episodes that's 30 songs it makes no sense right so it's always gonna be the same music so let me know if you find the music appropriate and I'm gonna list the song if there's one that you don't like let me know and if I see a majority that I don't like part of the music I'll make some modification I hope you liked this episode if you did please hit thumbs up and leave a comment below if you want to support this channel you can subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss future videos thank you for watching and see you next time